right trigger to select your dominant hand. All right. That would be my dominant hand right there, right-handed from birth. So, you know, I gotta say, I really like it when games have you calibrate in the beginning so that you're just ready to go right off the bat. So, all right. Now, looks like we do have some options in this one. Um, I am going to obviously turn it to smooth turning. Um, and we want hand relative for the M, uh, and we never want that vignette. Never, never, never. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get return to the game. Please test movement input. All right, here we go. So right off the bat, man, I gotta tell you, this is awesome. The IK in this is off the hook. Oh man, and the graphics are looking pretty decent. Love that movement speed too. Movement speed is very fast. Now, obviously if you suffer from motion sickness problems, you are probably gonna wanna tone that down. But it is, uh, you know, where you press a little bit forward and you kinda move slower and then I can just really run in there. And then, whoa, you press in, you really run. So. The, the atmosphere in here is nuts. Oh my God, this looks good. So what we, yeah, what do we got, man? Sean Stroud says, Don. Yeah. Hey, Lee, what's up? Judy Jones going. Oh, that's, that's, oh, Judy. Thank you so much for watching, man. One of my oldest friends right there, Judy Lee, Judy Lee Jones. Yeah, Judy Jones Golan, right on. All right, and Lee, uh, dang, the graphics are sweet, man. You can't even imagine. Now, I don't know what you guys are seeing on the stream, but in the headset, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, all the little attentions to detail, the dust floating around, the little uh, reflections here, the little reflections off of everything in my arms. So, man, ah, I love this, high, this style of gameplay. All right, there we go. Hi, friend. It's me. Oh, hey, Satellite. Lost contact there. Um, your friend Nix needs your help in the Stormland to test a new upgrade. Oh, okay. We, we could do that. So, um, all right. I Nix to wait for you since Nix isn't... Ooh, lightning. ...the toughest scout, or the most cautious, or very observant. Okay, can I go up over I here? I can stop Nix from look down in there. Orbit, so they're alone in the Stormland. Okay, so it does look like it's not letting me really move off path. Everything is kind of getting stuck there, but you know what? We're just going to move forward here. Because obviously, you know, this is pre release, so I'm not going to knock them on technical stuff. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh, that feels cool. Okay, so yeah, definitely you cannot step off of center very far. Um, I mean, the minute you do that, everything seems to like freeze in place. So definitely gonna wanna just kind of find a nice standing spot and just, you know, utilize the fact that you can move your control. You can control your character completely with the touch controllers here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you know, at, at home, I usually use the TP cast and that makes me wanna roam all over the place. So really, really hoping that the developers, uh, as they finish the game and polish it, uh, you know, make it room scale. I mean, give me the ability to walk around a little bit. Now, see, well, now it's not really doing it so much. I don't know. So, huh, weird. Or maybe it's just camera bounds. I mean, I am in a kind of a small glass booth here. So maybe I was talking shit for nothing. And I probably shouldn't do that. But that's okay. We're going to move on. All right, what do we got? You know, palm scan me again. Oh, no, looks like I need more monies. It's the story of my life. No, nope, no, nope. see, okay, so yeah, we're definitely getting some weird, I can't move towards that. Okay, but you know what? I don't care. Shoot I'm just going to keep playing. With your hand laser to collect My hand laser? Can be used to build Android upgrades. Nice. All right, so we're some alloy deposits here. We got silver, gold, and exotic. So let's go hunt some alloys here. Oh, there we go. Nice. 
Oh, and then you collect them. Okay, like that. You can scan the environment for resources. All right, how do I do that? Of your visor to activate scan mode. Oh, sweet. Scan mode deactivates when movement resumes. Okay. Give me my resources. Okay, so I gotta say, I love it when they incorporate things like tapping the side of the visor and things like that into games. So very, very cool to utilize that. Uh, get some gold. Great. That's enough alloy for the priming mod chip. Head back to the workbench to make it. Alright, where's the workbench? It's the alloy. That's uh, a climbing area. Where's my workbench? Scan. Oh, duh. It's right over here. Where the big green thing sticking out of the ground is, Dawn. Alright. Make sure I'm facing the camera here. Alright, so. Fabrication complete. Mod chips allow you to fine tune your system's capabilities. So how do I get there? We go. Mission complete. All right, right on. You'll be able to climb out of there with the mod ship. So please, will you search the island for Nix? Oh uh, sure. I'm worried. I'll be happy to. I shouldn't so. be out there alone. All right, well we're gonna go search the island for Nix here. So let's go ahead and go over here to the climbing wall. Face your palm toward a surface. Then hold the grip to connect. Nice. Release while pulling up quickly. Click. Mm. Ah! There we go. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? You don't look so good. Was that a Tempest dropship? Nice. I don't like this. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Give me some guns. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I gotta say the gunplay already feels pretty, pretty sweet. Um, definitely has a nice kick to it with the haptics and the uh, in the touch controllers here. So. Step off the ledge, start gliding. Oh, sweet. Hold your hands forward to change glide speed and direction. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Friend, I'm picking up Nix's distress signal. The Tempest must have found them. I can't lose anyone else to Okay, so can I not climb on the wall? Yes, yeah, see. What do we do? Okay. Okay. So, you're going to have to steal the Tempest transport. There but stealing is bad. Oh, how cool is that? I'll mark the strongholds on your wrist compass. Mission added. Listen, I know this isn't a great plan, and I know it's dangerous, but this is life or death for Nyx, and I think you can do it. Bring Nyx back to us. I can do it. I can do it. All I have to do is believe. So, all right, let's see here. We are going to slipstream. So slipstream over clouds, extend hands to steer and accelerate, hold grips to boost. Very cool. Let's do this. There's one thing I love in VR is the ability to feel like I'm flying. So, um, no, whoa, nice. Okay, how do I get some altitude? Oh. Hold your hands forward to change slipstream speed and direction. Okay. So it looks like I gotta go off the ledge again. Um, okay. All right, there we go. Nice. Don't know if I'm supposed to shoot those, but you know what? It feels good, so I'm gonna do it.
let's go ahead and go towards our objective here. Now, I thought I was supposed to be flying higher than that, but you know what? That's my dumb ass. I probably couldn't figure it out. I just got to sit here and soak in this environment for a minute. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. All right. So moving on. Very cool. All right. So... No idea where I'm supposed to be going. I'm assuming probably to this marker. Oh, looks like a cave. So and it seems like this is pretty cool that you can actually climb just about anywhere that has a surface. So, very nice. So why? Oh, probably shouldn't have hit that. You get some really good speed going here. But I can't get any altitude. Front is like I'm brushing on my head. That was a really cool sensation. Ah, come on. I'd say probably one step back. Oh, okay. A little close to the camera there. Sorry. It's easy to get off your mark in here because, man, I tell you what, this game is all over the place. So, hey, you know, actually, uh, I'm just going to talk to the tech here for a minute. So, am I supposed to be able to fly higher than that, or do you just skim across the ground there? When you're doing slow stream, it's pretty much just across the ground. Okay, so it's just across, okay. But you climb up to like a peak and jump off and kind of just fly. And then fly. fly. Okay, so I, I had seen that in a video, you so. You fling yourself up and then kind of glide around. And let's see here, I can kind of see through my nose gap here. So yeah, Robbie DeWitt. Um, it, yeah, you know, the, the crep succular rays in here, uh, God rays, you know, whatever. Uh, um, th they do look good in the game. Now, normally, I'm not gonna lie, I turn that stuff off because, well, you know, I'm, well, we got enough crep succular rays in the lenses of the Rift as it is. So, but I will say they do look good in this game. So, all right, and uh, yeah, Judy, this is so cool. Th this is absolutely nuts. I, I mean, you know, every year we are seeing the quality of these experiences get better and better, and, and it, it's experiences like this that really are incorporating a lot of different things. I mean, you, you can climb, you can fly, uh, you, you've got gunplay, you, you've got crafting. I, I mean, so, I mean, you can really lose yourself in this world. I can already see that. Now, in, in the short time that I have here today, I'm kind of rushing through it, uh, you know, uh, but as we get this after the game releases, I think this is something that we're definitely going to want to spend some time on. I mean, I will definitely be doing at least a, a, a series of videos here. So, I can't... Have you found an enemy stronghold yet? Uh, well... The sooner you still attempt this transport, the sooner you can help. Okay, so how come I can't pick that stuff up? Hold your left palm upward. There we go. Okay, that's cool. But I've got a gun here that I can't get, and it's driving me nuts. The there we go. Can help you nice. All right, so let's put that there. Put that there. All right, let's go. So we got our compass on the wrist, like he was talking about. So it looks like, and it's really cool how that's kind of like a little 3D map, man, like a little 3D holographic map. 
really digging on that. Um, and as he was saying, looks like if you turn your palm over, here is our mission structure right here. Also got uh, our mod ship, our inventory, and our journal there. So really intuitive placement of all of the different elements of your UI and your menu. I, I really, really also love it when developers incorporate that right into the game as part of the character. Uh, you know, I think it was as early way back uh, the first PC games I started, I, I gotta give nod to Dead Space. I mean, it was like the first time you ever had your health bar and it was actually part of the character. And, and I'm seeing a lot more of that kind of interaction and that kind of UI in VR and I'm loving it. So, all right, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump off this cliff. That's what I'm gonna do. Woo! What? <laughs> nice! Oh, that felt good. Give me that gun. Shotgun. Yeah. What you got? What you got? Oh, whoa. Okay. That is cool. Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, except I can't aim for crap. There we go. There we go. Oh, headshot. Okay. Thank you for that because I love sniping some stuff. Oh, man. And, and, and it does, the dual wield on this actually feels really, really good, guys. I mean, really, really tight. Uh, you know, you don't have the drift like you usually have on the front facing hand. So, very, very good gun mechanic there. All right, so let's go ahead and put that behind our back here. Now that we've killed all the uh, bad guys and do a little more exploring. Oh, wait, we can pick them up. No, no, looks like we can grab on them. Couldn't pick it up. Okay. Nice, new weapon. Oh, and that one also has a second function. So, very cool there. I figured that would be like a little pump action, but that's all right. Ooh, feels good. All right, well, we're gonna single hand it. And I'm just gonna keep heading towards these lights because you know what? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing except for the fact that I'm gonna stop and I'm just gonna check out these VR flowers for a minute because holy crap, that looks really, really good. So just little things, you know, it's little details like that that just catch out of the corner of my eye and all of a sudden I just got to stop and appreciate them. Nice. Very cool. Oh, what do we got here? All right, let's see what this is. Okay, so that's definitely, and you know, like I said earlier, that it, it is, but I, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. I'm trying to grab an object and the scene keeps pushing away from me. So I don't want to come too much farther forward because they've got a very nice streaming camera that I'm on right now, courtesy of uh, Facebook and Oculus. But yeah, so I can't actually grab those items. Right, yeah, there we go, and I finally got them. All right, so what does this little thing do? Mod chip. Slip spring speed plus 10%, liking that. I'm assuming those are grenades, so. Cool. All right, where am I supposed to be going? Here. Ah, oh, this fog effect is looking really decent. Woo! Let's do that again. Oh. Out of ammo. You know, I could literally just fly around like this for days. 
That is so cool. Alright, so let's see here. Come on, come on, slipstream. There we go. Man, that feels so fluid. Alright, what do we got over here? Ooh, nice reflectivity. Cool, very cool. Here we go. Find a control box to activate the transport. Okay. Uh, I can do that. Wait. Uh oh. Whoa, you can really chuck those things. Oh, I've got no guns. Do I not have any guns? Okay, so can I melee the guy? That's it. That's the control box. Okay, so you can at least shoot him like that when you have no weapons, so that is helpful to know. Okay, so let's see here. Mission complete. Mission complete. So it's interesting, it almost has like a, a lone echo feel when you're grabbing on something. So, all right, well, there we go. It looks like we have completed uh, at least a small part of the mission here. And you know what, guys? You know I don't like to usually make these too long. I think we are gonna go ahead and cap this here. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff I need to get done on the floor, but I want to thank each and every one of you for coming by and watching the stream today. Uh, you know, this has been an incredible experience. I, I well, what the hell am I doing talking in my headset? Uh, <laughs> this has been an incredible experience. Uh, you know, everything that we've seen so far today at OC5. You guys, I can't wait until you guys get a chance to see some of this stuff. So thank you very much, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. This is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace. Nice. You get so cool, Don. When did you get so cool? <laughs> when did I get so cool? What are you talking about? I'm sitting there babbling like a damn idiot. I'm going to stop the recording too. Yeah, awesome.